the city of good neighbors and the, the gift of giving, the spirit of giving yeah. alive and well here in Western New York on this holiday So grateful season. to live here. No question about so it. So many yeah. good people. All right, Josh Nichols joining us now. A lot of people wondering, where is the snow? Where is the snow? Uh, we've broke a record for the latest in waiting for the first flakes, and I really don't see anything, at least in the short term or medium range of import. Uh, we may get our first trace by next week, possibly in time for Thanksgiving. We will keep you posted on that, but the big old goose egg in the books today for snowfall uh, it matches the record set last in 1985 for the latest flakes. But of course, we certainly had our fair share of flakiness into the western and central southern tier. Uh, five and a half inches measured in Sio, 2.8 inches measured in Warsaw and Wyoming County. And we got a decent dose of dampness here in Buffalo. Even though we did not see snow, we certainly got uh, a serious soaking, which was sorely needed. A little bit more than a half an inch in the gauge. We're still running a significant departure here for the month of November, but we'll probably eat at that, uh, eat away at that here uh, in the coming days just a little bit more. As far as your overnight is concerned, it's cloudy, uh, but the serious soaking is pretty much done. We might be left with a couple of small showers, maybe a wet snow flurry, but as you see with our rain chances here, uh, they are isolated at best. Again, we're only looking at a few more wet flakes here for parts of uh, Cattaraugus, Allegheny County. Allegheny County, by the way, took the jackpot in our area in terms of snow. And that 8 to 14 day temperature outlook well below average for the end of the month and into the start of December. So I do think we're going to get a little dose of winter, uh, possibly uh, chilly enough uh, to support maybe some lake effect snow. We will, of course, keep you posted right now. 42 degrees dealing with that no good northerly wind. It just kind of cuts right through gusts to 31 miles per hour in Dunkirk, making it feel like it's below freezing, especially into the southern tier right now large lumbering low pressure here continuing to swirl, uh, kind of doing a loop de loop over uh, western New York and Pennsylvania. But again, the serious rains are now gone. They're drifting well to the south, still picking up on some wet flakes here uh, south of the thruway. Temperatures here overnight tonight kind of holding in the middle and upper 30s only climbing into the low 40s for tomorrow. Tomorrow, kind of a chilly day, kind of a cloudy day, still a spot shower, but we're not going to be dealing with those serious rains, the likes of which we had today. So again, tonight, a couple of leftover showers, maybe a little mix in the hills, maybe a coating to an inch in the southern tier. 47 in the falls, 42 in Grand Island tomorrow, 41 in Depew, 39 in Olean. Quick check at the seven day forecast, and you see that we might be going cold turkey in time for Thanksgiving. You're watching 7 News at 6. Stay with us.